I don't know if you guys can hear those dogs out there, but they're just barking out there. I don't know what's happening. But anyways, so I just finished another original. And actually before that, I just wanted to say that I, I think I'm going to be streaming on Twitch from time to time. If you guys want to check that out. Another thing, I changed my tag for everything pretty much Twitter Instagram YouTube Twitch SoundCloud I might be missing another one but now it's just X odd rod all put together because I mean the X odd rod out I feel like you know it's kind of long to spell out and I just wanted something simple and um, I'm calling myself odd rod so, you know, X out rod. I feel like that's just easier to look up. Yeah, so I finally finished this original. At the beginning of this, it was kind of hard to, I guess, make a beat for it with the guitar, even though, again, I'm not fully focusing on the beat. I just want to, you know, add a little bit to the track. Otherwise, it's just going to be my voice in it because you know, I'm, I'm just focusing on showcasing my lyrics. And again, like last time I said, you know, I don't even know if guitar would be my first choice, but that's just what I kind of know how to play. So the chorus is actually about love in any form. So it can be love like, you know, um, of a mother. It can be a relationship kind of love, a brother or sister kind of love, you know, it's just somebody that is basically there for you whenever you need them and they themselves actually give you strength you know what I mean because you know a lot of us sometimes you know life life is not easy and sometimes when we have nowhere else to look you know there there's somebody there you know that means a lot to you and brings happiness in your life. When I was writing it at first, I was specifically thinking like of my mom, you know? Like she's she's done a lot for me. I think sometimes, you know, we take things for granted that our parents do for us and I mean, my mom raised me by herself. You know, she also emigrated to this country and then that's how me and my sister were able to be born here. And you know, she's supporting me, I mean, financially for sure. She She's also been supporting me with this more now. Because at, at the beginning, you know, obviously, you know, as a conservative Mexican mother, she, you know, wanted me to just get, like, something that was going to make money, you know. Um, and I ended up with a theater degree, right? And uh, I'm doing this, trying to pursue this. So, you know, I'm very thankful to her. And yeah, she she's definitely someone who I love. And I know she loves me. And I know that, you know, we can get through a lot of things together. I also started to think about, you know, different kinds of love. And this ended up being, like, kind of a relationship song, you know what I mean? But... Um, more of when you f meet someone and you feel like you're in love. So the verse says, pick a place, I'll meet you anywhere, anywhere that you like. I'll come back and light every candle, whether it's tomorrow or tonight, right? So like, it, this is like a romantic kind of scene, right? I can handle tonight, pick any day or another night. I would gladly take you up tonight take you up tonight you know to like you know your room or or take it slow I know that it'll be all right you know you know because you have trust that she might be the one for you right you have trust in I guess life or you feel like you might have a connection with this person so well that you know that whether you 
you know, take it faster, take it slow, things will be okay. Um, the verse is specifically about like a romantic kind of love. And that's what the overall song ends up meaning. But yeah, I just wanted to bring up, you know, how the chorus to me was just, I was just thinking about love in general. And it first came from, you know, like mother love, I guess you can say. And also, I feel like the song does start a little abruptly with just the pre-chorus. And I did have a verse for it, but like as I was doing the recording process, I felt like it didn't fully fit. And you know, the song is pretty long too. It's like 3 minutes and 40 about. I just didn't want it to be like a super long song either. So that's why I wanted to show basically what I was really trying to get at with my lyrics. And another thing that I was thinking, so when I was writing this right, it first started as like um, like motherly love. I was thinking of this song to sound kind of like an old school vibe, like, you know, like the Beatles or like the Four Seasons, like, you know, something like that. Then. I wanted to add like a, I guess 21st century, well, uh, although it's not 21st century, but I wanted to add like a hip hop element kind of. I was thinking that it would be interesting to try to clash both of those genres together. So that's why I think the chorus sounds the way it does. And then for the, the bridge, I guess you can say, um, or second verse, because I mean, this doesn't have a first verse. It says, whenever I hear your voice, I try to focus more. I try to talk less, I even cry less, I wanna hear you more. You give me warmth like nobody else. I can die right now, but I'm too far in this love, right? So clearly this whole song is a romantic kind of song. You know, once it says, I'm too far in this love. It's funny because I feel like most of what I write is like sad you know what I mean it's it's just those types of emotions that I feel like I touch on more because I feel like you know just like love pain is also a big thing that we all deal with so I was actually I guess you could say kind of surprised of myself that I wrote this and also I wanted this part to sound like a little less like rockish, you know? Like I said, more of like an old school, like Beatles, Four Season vibe. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna keep trying to release more originals, like I said, because I mean, for one, I like sharing my own feelings, um, I'm, as I'm sure, you know, every artist does. And, and um, I also appreciate you know any feedback that I get, but yeah, I'll I'll catch you guys in the next one. So,